we got sensors, so we actually you know turn this fixture on when um, the mo you know motion sensor is picked up, and so we can save energy. Okay, with photos. Yes. Running at about 72 degrees. As you can see, the cold air is coming down from the uh, penthouse through this shaft. The entire data center we do not have ductwork. There's no supply air duct or return air duct. Okay, so ductless design. We basically pressurize this entire. We call this a space, cold air space. Pressurize it at about 0.03 inches of water pressure. That air will then go through the servers and get collected in this hot air container, as you, as you can see here. So if I open this one, and you can see it's a huge heat just being. In this air is basically the hot air gets collected in the hot air planet. So we contain the hot air. Where is the cool air coming from? Cool air is coming from the penthouse. We can go up there and show you, okay? But it gets processed and then push it down to. We exhaust and we also use a hot air to uh, heat up the uh, office space. So whatever the leftover, just dump it out to this. This particular one is called the uh, reactor power panel uh, because because uh, we are using a 480 volt, 277 volt system. We have we have to deal with a short circuit, high short circuit. Harmonics and the power factor. This is a custom made panel that takes care of all those three items. So we kind of killed the uh, three birds with the one stone. So this is a custom made. We come this way. Okay, so what you see here is our custom made server. Uh, it's actually a, it's a one rack. We call it, there are three columns here. Each column holds 30, 30 servers. And if you look at it carefully on the right hand side, we have an AC power strip as well as a DC power strip. DC power strip is only used for in case we lose a uh, yeah, utility power, then the DC power gets supplied into the data center. So this power supply is actually running at 277 volt AC. It's, and it has about a 94.5 efficiency, it's very high. And uh, these are Everything is a front access, access. Everything is accessible from front. So the, the power cables, the network cable, and, the, and then once you dis disconnect these cables, all the tray just comes out without any using without using any tools. If power is interrupted, how long can you run on your direct current? So good question. This blue cabinet is our. This is a, one thing we developed this product as well. This provides up to about 90 seconds. However. Uh, we kind of programmed this so all backing up about 45 seconds right now because the emergency generator will kick in about within 15 seconds or so. Okay. So, this, but this one can handle about 90 seconds. You're dealing with seconds, not Correct. Right. And now. under normal operation, this thing is just it does, it's not a it's not a uh, it's not wasting any power because it's a standby system. So. It's just charging the battery, trickle charge the battery. The heat coming out a little bit here is that it's just charging the battery, that's all. So what sort of system do you have set up to detect when you're having any sort of dips or, or issues where the so UPS has thing, to kick in? You mean the AC or, or DC? I so, so if it is AC, we have a system that monitors the voltage dip, uh, transient. Uh, we also, if anything was a... The, the dirty power coming in, right. it basically goes over to gen it goes over to generator, and uh, this this is our basically is our UPS system. We call it DC UPS system, and the cost is extremely low compared to the centralized UPS system. And it comes in on two different models, uh, 56 kW and 85 kW. So we using 85 kW, we can actually sub uh, power up three uh, tri uh, triplets rather than six. So if you look at it here, uh, all, all this thing needs is just a receptacle, the plug. 
goes right up to that AC plug and you're, you're good to go. One you know, plug. One plug. And then uh, the, there are six cables coming out, the DC cables, and then feeds each individual current. And those are all uh, 48 volts, so you, it's safe. You can, I wouldn't lick it, but you know, <laughs> I would definitely, it's okay to touch it. You, you, you will not harm me at all. <laughs> Our hot aisle is completely sealed. And if you can just come in for a minute. Gets warm right away. <laughs> No lights in here? No light is required because the reason we didn't put any lighting here is because no one should ever come to this space. Everything is accessible from the front. This is just uh, capturing the heat and goes straight up to the uh, hot air planner. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, there's absolutely no need to come in the back side of the, uh, the, the, this, uh, uh, the server. And as you can tell, our Freedom Server, we call it Open open Computer Servers, you notice this, you can hardly even hear the fan noise, which means the fan is not working very hard. The reason behind that is because we pressurize the cold dial, and then the pressure is basically going through the uh, servers. So the server fan is working very, very low, uh, uh, not hardly even working. I mean, so you can see, just basically, you know, it's hardly run. I mean, so you can, that's why you're not hearing this bunch of noise. Okay, okay. let's go out are there. All these, are all these the open compute servers? Yes, these are all open compute servers. Pretty much the whole facility? That's good. It's one and a half U servers instead of one U server. So the reason why we did that is because, so one and a half U, you could, you could uh, deliver more air through that server, so the fan does not have to work so, I mean, the, so hard and very efficient and this is uh, if you make it very one new you don't have much area to work with so the fan has to work really hard to get the air into the uh, server and one and a half year server you don't you heard that in the hot aisle the fans are basically hardly even running so it's very energy efficient run all the data cables everything above floor like we, we see over here uh, we do not have any raised floor here obviously everything and we just contain the hot iron, running everything over there.